Welcome back to This Versus That. You've got decisions, we'll help you make them. Before we get back to our first test, a test to determine which flotation device, the life jacket or the seat cushion, is easier to use in an emergency, we turn our attention to this. The FAA defines ditching as a controlled emergency landing in water, as opposed to a crash, which connotes a plane spiraling out of control and smashing apart on impact with little or no survivors. Thanks, FAA. Since 1952, there have been 14 ditchings of passenger jets around the world. There were 834 people on those 14 flights, and remarkably, 573 of them survived. And of those that did die, most of them died on impact. However, many survived the impact only to die in the water later from a combination of rough seas, hypothermia, and drowning. John, you mind if I try something different? Okay. Get these mother snakes off my mother plane! It's not as satisfying as I thought it would be. In 2005, Tunitur Flight 1153 crashed off the coast of Sicily. The water that day in the Mediterranean was in the 70s, which was good for the 20 survivors who languished in the ocean 46 minutes before being rescued. The temperature in the Hudson River on January 15th wasn't nearly as balmy. The day U.S. Air Flight 1549 touched down in New York's Hudson River, the water temperature was 41 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna demonstrate right now what it looks like and what happens to a person when they're in 41 degree water. Now, before one of the hosts gets into the tank, let's quickly rewind. Our universe was formed 13.7 billion years ago, following the big ba- Okay, let's rewind a little less. Ah, that's better. It took 700 pounds of crystal party ice to bring the nearly 200 gallons of water in the tank to the proper temperature, 41 degrees. Fifteen minutes of exposure to water at this temperature will result in unconsciousness. In 90 minutes, you'll be dead. And after two hours, you become your own Ben & Jerry's flavor. Who's getting in the water? Not me. No. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. Wait. Yes, but I am not American, so it does not count. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, let's do uh, let's do it fair, like Americans would. Rochambeau. Okay, you guys go, and I will be the judge. Whoa. Cheating Canadian no, no, no. bastard. No, mm. that gives you an advantage. I'm actually from Wisconsin. How about we play Travis? It's an old Wisconsin game. How do you play that? Travis, get in the fucking tank. Oh, intern. Ah. Now we're not kidding, Travis. Water is 41 degrees Fahrenheit, the same temperature it was on January 15th when the plane went into the Hudson, all right? Now, Travis, once you're in there, we're gonna give you the seat cushion to simulate you actually have to hold on to this thing while you're freezing. Yeah, for as long as you're conscious. All right. And remember, if you don't stay conscious the whole time, I'm not saying it's bad for the show. I mean, those are the kind of, those are the kind of things that make YouTube hits. It'd be really funny. It'd be really cool. How is it? Ten bucks a screen. Yes. All right. Ooh. Now, just so that you know, we did not do this willy nilly. We have a thoracic surgeon with us, Dr. Harmic Sukasian from Cedar Sinai. He's going to monitor uh, Travis. Hypothermia is a situation wherein the body has been deprived of its normal uh, thermal regulation, usually cold air or cold water, which then basically suck the heat out of the body. When you took this intern, Travis, did you think it would be this exciting? Is it cold or are you just acting? I quit. <sighs> You're not getting paid. You can't quit. <laughs> this is Dr. Harmak Sukasian a cardiothoracic surgeon from Cedar sinai Hospital. Cold water is much more dangerous than cold air in that cold water will rob the body of its heat 32 times faster than cold air will. The doctor is supervising our demonstration. Well, when you get in cold water such as this, you know, you, your, your initial reaction is to take a big gasp like he did. He will also provide emergency aid if there are signs of shock, incoherence, or cardiac arrest in Brad Sherwood. These experiments make him crazy nervous. And what are the signs of hypothermia? The order of events that you would expect would be initially uh, shock, uh, where a patient is disor person is disoriented. Once they become oriented, they'll, they'll try and thrash around. They start shivering. They start having teeth chattering. His heart rate's doing okay. It's rising. 
then they'll start losing their ability to have uh, normal thought processes. They become less oriented. They become less lucid. In the field of medicine, this inability to think clearly is known as, quote, going busey. Continued exposure to the frigid water will next lead to the loss of fine motor skills, followed by a loss of the shivering reflex and the body's ability to keep warm. My muscles are, my muscles are seizing. They start cramping and they can't perform almost any uh, motor activities, such as uh, keeping themselves afloat. I can't feel my fingertips. Eventually what happens is that your temperature on your body comes down so low that it starts affecting your heart. And if your heart gets affected, then your heart will stop. And if your heart stops at that point, certainly you will die. Coming up, used improperly, one of these flotations can kill you. And the other one, it can kill you too. Plus, want to know which popping method makes the fluffiest popcorn? I will deduct coins from any batch of corn that gives me sass, lip, or tood. All you need is a digital caliper that measures millimeters and the patience of a brain surgeon.